This might sound a bit harsh, but a society of sheep begets a government of wolves. Sounds a bit harsh, but when I said earlier that we have our national development plan, which we all embraced, which we all agreed that we will play a part in its implementation, I don't know how many of us take time just to go back and to see what it is that is my role in actually making the country work. What, what is my, whatever, wherever you are, you might be in corporate, you might be a, an ordinary citizen. I said earlier, you know, it's built on these three pillars, a, 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 an active citizenry, thriving business, and um, a, a, a professional public service. When, when that fails, where is the active citizenry? Because when the professional public service that is supposed to be serving us, because that's the face of government, that's the only way you actually engage with government. It's through the public service that you actually engage with. I, I made an example also of, uh, of what we do when we are okay, and uh, perhaps in government. Oh, one, we don't use government facilities. I take my kids to a private school. I go and um, I make sure that I get the best service in a private hospital. How would I know when things are not working in the, in the, in the public sector? where I'm actually supposed to be responsible, you know, to make sure that things are working. It's not only politicians, it would even be the officials themselves that would actually um, go to that point. So I, I think we do need something as a, as a society that begins to ask these questions and, and do our own introspection as individuals, not only uh, being able. I served in a situation where we were looking at uh, the development of the, what was called the uh, a new development plan. The, the program, the you know, uh, New Growth Plan, the NGP, yeah, where government, the private sector, and, um, um, and labor sit in one room. And what would happen when we get in those, into those meetings? You would get labor telling government and business what to do. You would get um, a business telling labor and government what to do. And then government is in this difficult uh, position. Of course, you are the custodians of, uh, you know, you actually are supposed to be championing um, um, the, um, the aspirations of the broader society because they are not represented. And instead of us moving forward, because if we had all come to the party with what we can do and what we're bringing to the table, I think it would have taken us much quicker to find each other. So uh, I agree with you. Um, if the private sector is able to do it, why is it that it can't be done in government? Because at times you would actually find it would be the same me, that when I'm in the private sector, I do better. And when I'm in government, I can't do what I would do in the private sector. And let's not generalize about government. We've got Treasury, the central bank, and it used to be the re receiver of revenue. We <laughs> Uh, it's used you did to not, be. You do, no, but you do not. <laughs> you don't read about corruption in Treasury or at the Reserve Bank. I mean, they've got clean records similar to the the best uh, uh, private sector company. So it is possible. And then the other little thing is, it's very important to. Uh, I think the private sector reacts more quickly to negativity or negative news than than government, because if you let a thing. Summer, it's, it's not good. It damages you. Yeah, it damages you. You react quickly. But I just want to add that there are government departments that manage themselves as ethically uh, as the best of the, uh, of, of the private sector companies.